Hello everybody, August 5th, 2021. Yeah, status quo here in the DC area, but I hope you guys are doing well. So we're gonna do a continuation of fear. So fear's coming up a lot in my clients and in friends and in just in overall energy reading when I'm out and about. There's just a lot of fear. So fear does what? Physiologically, it constricts the skin, the vital blood vessels around the organs flood everything, the muscles and everything with oxygen and nutrients, getting it pumped up and ready to flee, run, react. So it's like a ticking time bomb off and on all day long. And your body is flooded with adrenaline. Adrenaline, cortisol, all that is only meant for these emergency times. But when you're constantly in there using them because ah, incoming, ah, incoming, ah, incoming, ah, because it's safety, the body has to know it's safe. That's the number one thing. If it enters a workroom, it enters a social environment, it enters a grocery store, wherever it's entering, it has to know it's safe. Okay, so this is a little bit of heightened awareness. Looking around making sure that the environment is safe. And if you're a parent, especially a mother with children, it's one of the first things you're doing is everything's safe, you know, around me. So you're always spurting a little bit of that adrenaline cortisol, okay? So there's this constant adrenal fatigue going on because this is, becomes a learned habit. Instead of trusting and knowing that we're safe, but what's going on in our environment right now? Good gosh, good gosh, it's like fire darts, ammunition everywhere. We don't even know where it's coming from. You know, there's so much anger being produced, so much separation, enslavement, um, freedoms being tampered with, taken away, threatened. So there's a lot, a lot for all of us to deal with. Again, the number one thing is to connect with your breath. The stop, drop, sit, connect with your breath. Take a moment in the car before you have to go out of the car. Take a moment in your home before you have to go out of your home, okay? Because like it or not, your brick and mortar home, it's still getting flooded with all the collective fear. You can't get away from it, but you can align your body so that it's not frozen in emotions, awareness, and reality. Fear. Fear freezes emotions, awareness, reality. Okay, so you're reacting aggressively. You're reacting with anxiousness. You're saying and doing things that you might not have done if you had Stop, drop, sit, connected with your breath. So these are super important. So once again, I'm gonna show you my handy dandy little thing here. So what does it do? Freezes emotional awareness, reality, fear. So what's that mean? It means frozen emotional awareness, reality. These are all frozen. These are all affected. How do you make great decisions when things are shut down in the body and all you can think about safety and fleeing? No, we wonder why we have GI problems, dizziness, uh, extremely tight muscles, just can't, can't, can't seem to get out of the, the, the pain body cycle because it's so into the physical body. And there's a lot of energetic things on why this is all coming up now because it's truly coming up to be bubbled and cleared. So it's bringing everything to the surface. So if you want a session on how to understand that a little bit better and how you can maneuver through uh, uncharted waters in a more calm, safe, and effective way to get from destination A to B and still have your health, I'm happy to do that. But I want everybody to, to look at my sign here. And this is really, truly what I live by, the KISS method. It used to be keep it simple, Sandy. 
Keep it spiritually simple. It doesn't have to be hours a day of devotional time. It can be little snippets throughout the day that you are just literally tap, tap. Oh, and tap into some appreciation or maybe take a little bit longer to do something that you enjoy. Maybe you're not slapping a meal together. Maybe you're really dicing and chopping and giving thanks for whatever it is that you're dicing and chopping for being there and for that wonderful cutting board or that granite countertop or this great knife and that you're infusing everything that you're doing with love. So if you like cooking, maybe take a little more time to bring your heart center into it and have that flow out because to me, our hands are the extension of our, of our hearts. They're the extension of our hearts. You know, years ago, um, you know, a lot of women would get their nails done and then I would run into them or something and they would make up excuses like, oh, I just do this once in a while. I just making up excuses and I would be like, oh, okay, well, I'm kind of here to do the same thing. And finally, one day, this lady was just, you know, making up all the, oh, and, then, and oh, this, just once in a while, like, like she didn't deserve to do this. And uh, I just said, well, to me, these hands are an extension of my heart. And they're what I see when I'm driving. They're what I see when I'm working on my face. They're what I see when I'm hugging my children. They're what I see when I'm making food. They're what I, I see. So to me, I like a little color on my nails. I do. It just brings me great joy. So I just do polish changes like twice a month and I don't think a thing about it. I don't because it's an extension of my heart that just brings me more joy and more love to anything and everything that I do. And it presents itself through one of my, my physical senses so I can see it, it's tangible. I can process it and I can feel it. So find something that brings you a little happiness and joy and don't put it on a scale of, oh, do I deserve this? Or, oh my gosh. You know, if it costs 10 bucks to have a polish change, because I totally stink at doing it myself. And then I would look at it and see all my mistakes. It's $10 twice a month. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's lunch with a friend. I mean, please. It just says I love myself. And I love myself when there's no polish on there. As long as my nails have a little shine and they're happy, I, I like them too. But the point is, don't put it on the scale of good, bad, and different. I deserve it, victim crap. That's old paradigm. That's got to go. You're a beautiful light body of the divine creator of all the light bodies. Be a mentor. You want to emanate and raise your vibrations and it's as simple as maybe having a little polish on your nails it's just an example find what works for you keep it simple and then mark in your calendar where's my breath right now like every two hours where's my breath Remind you to just really take that diaphragm because that diaphragm is that muscle that pulls the air through the bronchioles into the lungs and down into the belly. Okay? That's why it's good to expand the belly and then visualize the rib cage, go, rib cage going out, you know, in, out. So these muscles and things, whew, breathe it out. <sighs> Breathe it out. You know, you're using the abdominal muscles, the diaphragm. See if you don't reset and have a little cascade of some amazing neurotransmitters that reset. And then the F-E-A-R, the freezing of your emotions, your awareness, your reality 
is free flowing. So that's what you want. You want flowing, not frozen or freezing. And you don't need to walk around like, <laughs> you know, where that creates such a anxiety, angst that technically really doesn't need to be there. And you have control over it, remember? You have your dial, you set your dial. No one touches that dial, nobody but you. Unless you wanna blame everybody for why this got moved. That you That's really a victimism and a projection out and deflecting and all that stuff. Don't, no, it's your responsibility. This, this, all this, it's your responsibility being given to you by the divine source, this is your responsibility. And how it acts and reacts, just like you teach your children. Just like you teach your children. You must be an example and a mentor to that. So be that way to your family, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, whatever it may be. Stop, drop, connect with that breath, respond. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Love light. Please, with the algorithms, hit that like button. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe. Please hit that all notification so that you get these. Please leave me a message because each and every one of those things help the algorithm in this YouTube channel and sends this video out so other people can see it. So you're just helping to push out the loving messages to others. Let that be your, your point of service today by helping me as I'm helping you. All right.